Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Handsome Blader. And today is the big day. Today is the day that I build my very first gaming PC. And I am very excited for this. And before we get started, I'd just like to say, if you would like to see all these parts and what parts I've chosen, then, um, then please go check out my part one of this video. And also, before we start, I'd just like to say, in the last video, I wasn't able to show off my case and my graphics card. So this is the EGVA NVIDIA 1650 GTX Super, or GTX 1650 Super. This is the Deep Cool Matrix 55, and also I made a slight change to my motherboard. Instead of making it a micro ATX motherboard, I made it an ATX motherboard. So it went from Prime B560 AAC to Prime B560 Plus. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, all right, well, I've unboxed my motherboard and to be honest, camera doesn't do these parts justice. They're so beautiful when you're actually seeing them and they, they're so impressive, you know? But yeah, the first thing we're gonna be doing is attaching our CPU to our motherboard. And we just opened the motherboard. It comes with the user's manual, the IO shield. All right, this is the IO shield. And SATA cables, which we won't be using, but these are for external hard drives or SSDs. This is our M.2 screw, which we'll be using to attach our M.2 SSD. This is this. And we have a bag of extra screws in case we need to attach our heatsink, I think. So, yeah, let's get right into it. First, we need to open the CPU, which... All right, so I'll see you when we open the CPU. All right, so getting into installing the CPU, the first step is to take this lever and take it out like this. So like this and pull it backwards. And that is our LGA 1200 socket right here. And that's where we're gonna be installing our CPU. So if you look at this triangle, we have to match it up. So it's this corner right here. And our CPU has a triangle. If you could see it, it's just right over here. It's very small, but yeah. So, grabbing the CPU by its sides, it's very important. Yeah. Drop it into place. And give it a little wiggle to see if it's in correctly. And do not apply force or anything. Just let gravity just drop it in there. And just double checking. Yup. So we now we need to put this, lower it gently back down. And now, all right. So now we need to lower it gently back down. And all right, this one, this crush feels like you're gonna break it. And, guys, I think we've just installed our CPU. <laughs> That's, <laughs> oh my god. My heart, it's beating so fast, wow. Never been so nervous in my life. Oh, wow, just one mess up and the entire thing's destroyed. All right, well, we've installed our CPU. All right, so the next step into building our PC is installing the RAM, which will go in these DIMM slots. And our motherboard has like a little thing right here telling us uh, which ones to put in. And for us, it's they're gray. So right here, these gray little DIMM slots. So we'll unbox our RAM. And, yep, I'll just grab the scissors and cut this. All right, so with that open, we can get our RAM out. 
And uh, wow, she still looks beautiful. And luckily for us, RAM isn't actually as important. I mean, not important, but like fragile as like a CPU or something like that. So you don't have to be too delicate, but I prefer to be delicate with it because, well, it's my first time building. So yeah, there we go. Our first RAM stick out. I'm gonna keep you right here, fam. And our second RAM stick right now. All right. Alright, well, we got both our RAM sticks, so we have to match up this little slot right here with the dim slot on here. So, first, what I prefer to do is just see here. Alright, so you have to do that, but you, I prefer to do is like hover it over and see, will it match if I lay it in? And no, it doesn't look like it will. So, I flip it over to the other side. And yeah, it looks like it will. So I'm just going to apply firm pressure until some until you hear the clicks. And yeah, that's our first RAM stick installed. Time for our second one. All right, so we have already opened that. Now, it does not look like it will, so I'm gonna quit it this way does look like it will so now we're just going to put it in until you hear the click apply all right and our ram sticks are installed so let's move on to the next part all right well i'm feeling pretty satisfied with our cpu and our ram installed but next we have our m.2 ssd and for this we'll actually need to use screws so first, take off this cover, and this is our M.2 SSD. Next, I need to take it out, and oops, no, get that. This is our M.2 SSD right here, and it's very thin. So due to our generation of CPU, which is 10th gen, we'll have to use this third one. But preferably, you want to use this one, this first one, right? So the first step is to match up the hole, or uh, the little socket thing. Then you want to kind of place it in there. And all right, so installing the end up to SSD. All right, and if you see it kind of like going up like that, don't worry, that's how it's supposed to be. Now we'll have to take out our M.2 screw out of our bag. So, can I just peel it off? Take it off? Yeah, all right. Actually, I'll need to cut it a little more. All right, there we go. That was a very bad cut, but. All right, so we have our M.2 screw, which should look something along the lines of this. Pretty small, but. Yeah, and what you need to do is with one hand hold this M.2 SSD down, and with the other hand put this in and try to screw it in. Oh, alright, well, this can prove as a problem. Alright, so the M.2 right here got really fiddly, we, it was really difficult to put in the screw. So we decided we're going to come back to that, and first, all right, next, we're going to be putting in our CPU cooler. And originally, I was going to put in that, because I thought this, instead of coming with a CPU cooler, it would come with thermal paste to apply to a CPU cooler. It came with the CPU cooler with thermal paste to be applied. So we're installing a stock cooler until I get new thermal paste. So I have to line it up, and also I have to check. So this header right here, this will be plugging in right here. So I have to make sure this goes right here, closest at least. So I'm gonna drop it in like that, and now just apply. There we go. Oh, that's, that's fun. Oh, wait, wait. Is this already applied? Oh, no. All right, and 
there we go. So everything's applied. Now I can go ahead and plug it in to the CPU fan. So I'm seeing here and seeing there and it can just go ahead and kind of plug it right on in. Almost tricky. Uh, there we go. All right, now just do a little bit here. There we go. Oh no, wait. I want to put it right here actually. There we go. And our CPU fan is into the motherboard. Now let's try to get our SSD in. So put it in here. All right, so one extremely helpful small tip is you really, really need a small screwdriver that is, sweet spot being it's magnetic, right? A magnetic screwdriver is probably a need, especially for this, right? So we were trying with this screwdriver, this tiny end up screw, this is the smallest it would go, and it wasn't working, honestly, I. I'm happy we haven't broken the slot on the uh, SSD yet. We touched it so much. But yeah, that just proves how durable these parts are. But this is a need. You need one of these because these help so much. And you can't lose any screws using this. But yeah, we got our SSD installed. Now we're going to install the heatsink. So, in order to install the heatsink, first what you need to do is you need to unscrew it. So. First, take out this, right? Next, you need to take out the other one. And pretty much what heatsink does is it makes sure it makes sure that your M.2 SSD isn't really heating up, right? Like too much. Also, it looks kind of cool with the metal plate and all that. But yeah. So now that we've unscrewed our heatsink, I can remove it like that. And this is where you would ideally want to put your M.2 SSD right here. That's ideal, right? This is where your CPU can get to it and it'll run at faster speeds. But unfortunately, that wasn't possible with us. So this is our thing, our heatsink. So I'm going to remove this plastic. This cover, right? All right. Now put these back in. Line it up right here. And try to line it up right over here too. All right, it's in. Now. All right, so now we have this here. Now we need to screw it in, so while I'm screwing it in, make sure to go clockwise. And there we go. All right, our first screw's in, time for our second one. So, fast, and so, for me, I don't think this heat sink will affect my SSDs really much, to be honest, because here, if you take a quick little look here, like at the very bottom right here, you'll see that the SSD is kind of shifting downwards, you know? So it's like at a slant like that. So that's not good, but then again, heat sink isn't required by any means. It just kind of covers up the ugliness of the SSD. But, well, I'm just going to take a moment to admire our work so far. This is our motherboard in its complete stage. We've installed our CPU, our CPU cooler, our RAM, and our SSD. It's time to get into the case. I'm excited. All right, see you when we have the case. All right, so the next step is installing our motherboard into the case. And like most of the parts, 
video doesn't do the case justice. It's just so big, so beautiful, you know? It just looks amazing too. So, yeah, so the first step is you want to lay it down flat on the bottom. So, be very careful with this step. There we go. Now you want to use the thumb screws to open it up. You got one. Two. And let's just get these two at the same time. I guess I'm, all right, I guess I'm not. And, all right, and four. Now, you have to make sure you set this in a very careful place. So let's set you first. Let's remove our front panel. Hold oh, this is I mean side panel, and put it right here for now. Be very gentle with it. And this is the inside of our case, right? And it looks to me like. It is already in a ATX formation. This is what, so if you're installing an ATX motherboard, this is what it'll look like, right? But before we do any of that, we need to flip it back over and we need to take off the side panel, right? And for me, these side panels held by these two thumb screws. So, oh, I don't think. Actually, these aren't thumb screws, so, yep, I'll see you when this is opened. All right, so as you can see, I took off the panel right here, revealing our top uh, button headers. So right here, there is uh, some buttons and some USBs, right? Next, we have, these are pretty, all our uh, uh, little screws are gonna be here and some extra connectors. And yeah, these are all what we'll need to control, right? These are the hard drive. This is a hard drive cage. So if you're installing an external hard drive, put it right here. Fans, pre-installed. And this, this is where you mount your PSU. And the PSU is your power supply. So this, is where you put it. It has a nice little air filter here. It also has an air filter on the top. So these are our air filters right here. Make sure no dirty air or no uh, polluted air is coming into our system. And the next step is to install the motherboard. So let's get into that. All right, so this is our IO shield. And this is what pretty much all our front panel connectors or not front panel connectors, but our connectors from our motherboard will be shown, you know? So make sure that these three circles are on the bottom. So these three go on the bottom and make sure these little things right here, they're facing this way, right? Next step, you just need to kind of pop it in there. So this is... And let me just make sure. Yup. Okay. Alright. Make sure. Just double check this part because it can get a little tricky and fiddly. I think it's installed. Uh. Alright. So I don't think the bottom is installed really. All right, I think we got our IO shield in. Now we have our motherboard. All right, so our next step is installing the motherboard. And the first thing you need to make sure is standoffs, right? These are standoffs right here. These little things standing out. And these are what your motherboard will be attached to. And you have to make sure the standoffs are placed in the correct positions according to your motherboard screws, right? And this is the formation of an ATX motherboard, so I'll be, I'll already be able to do it. 
but usually they're in the manual of your um, case. It should tell you all the uh, all the formations for each size motherboard, right? So I'm gonna grab it by its size, my motherboard. Be very gentle. Line it up. Line it up with the holes and try to make it. All right, make sure the I.O. is put in correctly. Make sure it's a little more in. All right, not everything's put in still, so this is tricky. All right. All right, so next step is to grab that, that bag of screws that your case came with and open it up all right open it up and grab it all right next you need to grab your screwdriver oops it fell all right next you need to grab your screwdriver and you need to t put it inside these holes So. Going? All right, well, I'll see you guys when I've attached all these. All right, so installing the motherboard was a little bit tricky and a little fiddly, but once we found out how to do it and got the right screws, it came out great. So yeah, look at it. We have a motherboard installed. Very excited right now. Oh wow, it's coming together. All right, so three fans have already come pre-installed as you can see right here. And we will be using, instead of using deep cool fans, we'll be using Asia horse fans. And because we plan to replace these deep cool fans later on. But for now, these are our Asia horse fans. And we're gonna be installing these. And, and they're gonna be exhaust. So they're gonna be like this and kind of going up like this so yeah let's get into it all right guys we're making big progress and right now i just mounted these two fans these two exhaust fans and yeah so these are are held to the case by these screws they're actually pretty simple right and they're shorter than than you would think actually i thought they were so long that they would come through both of here and then just screw on, but no. So yeah, these are pretty short. They're the big kind of stubby ones, if I can find one uh, here. This is what they look like. So yeah, that's how they look like. And our next step is to, um, our next step is to, uh, uh, a, install the power supply. So see you when we do that. All right, so uh, next we have our power supply and opening it up. I don't think it's modular, but maybe. So we have this. This is what plugs into your wall or your outlet and ma make sure the entire thing gets power, of course. And yep, it's not modular, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter much to me. And we have some screws and cable ties and a manual. All right, so yeah, this is our power supply and let's open it up. Uh, so, oh, wait, never mind, never mind. We don't need scissors, but actually we do right here. Wow, this thing is heavy. Oh wow, this thing's heavy, yeah. Uh, so, one thing I've noticed with a lot of these parts is they're heavier than they look, really. Like, CPU cooler, pretty heavy. CPU itself was actually, like, really heavy compared to like what it looks. It seems like really heavy compared to what it looks. 
motherboard that was heavy the, these components are actually pretty heavy so yeah that's something i just noticed and so i'm gonna keep this here but in order to install a power supply you need to turn it around and luckily for us all right luckily yeah we have a power supply basement and before we uh before we install the power supply Something to keep in mind is always make sure the span is facing where the air ventilation is. So if there's air ventilation up here, there is nothing. But if you look closely down here, right here, there's like some uh, some vents. So I'm gonna put my power supply like this. Wait, what? Like. I'm gonna just take out this uh, cable tie that they included, and I'll see when the power supply is mounted. Wow, guys, look at this mess of wires. There's like way too many. But yeah, out of every single part about building this PC, wiring is definitely the hardest. It was so hard and so fiddly, and it was just not really fun, to be honest. But, well, you know what will be fun? Installing our GPU. Let's get right into it. All right, so we've got our GPU installed, ready to go. We've got our PCIe cable plugged in. Surprisingly, the 1650 only needed uh half no like six PCIe uh I don't know what they call them, but six PCIe's and um like a uh, whole. A whole power supply comes with 16 so if you see that little mess down there we can try to clean that up but yeah I have to shove them down there but yeah I think I'm liking how it looks we have to replace these front fans right here these ones and we have to replace them with the ones that we bought because actually these ones with the deep cool they weren't working I don't know why there was no molex connector up here to give the, this entire front part power so we have to connect it, our Asia horse fans to give it power from the dock so yep I'm very nervous but let's see if it works all right so here is a graphics card and out of my $850 this took 350 so this is the most expensive but so just by looking at it, it's worth it. It's so beautiful. I love it. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna be installing this thing into the setup. So we just gotta remove all this plastic. And we gotta remove this. And this. Actually, actually now, just double check and see. Now what we need to do is we need to take out these things, right? So I'll see you when our graphics card is installed. All right, so we've got our PC built. We've got a lot of wires. Very nervous. And all we have to do is turn it on. Three, two, one. Uh, don't know what's happening. Uh, let's see. Nothing's turning on, so. All right, so I was very scared right there. We did the biggest rookie mistake ever. Instead of plugging this, into the graphics card, we plugged it into the motherboard, which, and that doesn't give power to the, like, graphics to the monitor. So, I'm gonna plug it into the graphics card right here. And now for the big reveal. Oh, 
turned off. Oh, oh, guys. What? I don't know what this means. Ink, Asus Prime B. Yeah, this is our motherboard. You will be entering into the menu. All right. So I think I know we have to actually have a keyboard and a mouse. So yeah, we'll do this in part three. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.